Hello friends, welcome, heart welcome to you. Let's try to solve this problem as part of modulus of a variable. We have been given absolute value of x minus 1 is less than or equal to 5 or absolute value of x is and absolute value of x is greater than or equal to 2. So we'll find out solution set from the first condition. We'll find out the solution set from the second condition. The x whatever we found out should or find out will find out should satisfy both the conditions. So first we'll try to find out what is the solution set from the first condition solution set from the second condition then we'll try to take the intersection at the values which are common to both of them so let's go ahead and do that first what we will try to understand what is the meaning of absolute value of x minus 1 less than or equal to 5 we'll write down that absolute value of x minus 1 less than or equal to 5 is nothing but minus 5 less than x minus 1 less than or equal to 5 now that's the meaning of that we know because absolute value of x less than or equal to a is minus a less than or equal to x less than or equal to a. Based on that logic we got this now. Now we want x so we will add 1 on both the sides. 1 here, 1 here, will plus, will plus, will plus, we'll have minus 4 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 6 so this is what we got x values are between minus 4 and 6 ok fine now let's go to the other one we have absolute value of x is greater than or equal to 2 now what is the meaning of that absolute value of x is greater than or equal to 2 then we know that either x is greater than or equal to 2 or x less than or equal to minus 2. This is what we learned from the last videos. So let's go ahead and plot the number line for both of them and see how it will come. Okay, so we need two number lines. One for the first one, other for the second one. We need to take the common values or the intersection of these two. So the first one let us say the values are between minus 4 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 6. So the values are between minus 4. Let us say this is minus 4. And let us say that this is equal to 6. That is minus 4 and 6. That means according to us whatever we know. So basically minus 4 is included. 6 is also included all the values between there is what we want okay fine now let's go to the next one for x greater than or equal to 2 or x less than or equal to minus 2 now where will be x less than or equal to minus 2 first we'll try to plot where is minus 2 where is plus 2 where will be minus 2 somewhere here we will have minus 2 minus 4 minus 2 will be here and 2 will be here okay so what we have now is x greater than or equal to minus 2 x less than or equal to minus 2 that means the solution will be i have minus infinity not included but minus 2 is included and also 2 is included but the infinity is not included. Now, these are the two number lines whatever we got for the one is for minus 4 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 6 that is this one x greater than or equal to or x less than or equal to minus 2 that is this one. Now, we need to have we need to have intersection of both of them. So, let us try to understand where it will be let us say suppose we have minus 4 to 6 here here i have less than minus 2 so this part is fine this part is fine this part is fine similarly this part is fine so let's try to understand how it will come 
I'll draw a line so that you'll understand it easily. Let me just pick a color for you. Okay, fine. So this is minus 4 to 6 and this is up to. So this part is what I will have as my solution. This is the one part I'll have as my solution. Another part which is common is here. So you can see that whatever I am talking about, this part is common to both the solutions. Similarly, this particular part is, it is there in the minus 4 to 6, it is also there greater than 2. So what are these values now? Nothing but minus 4 to minus 4 to minus 4 to minus 2 and 2 to 6. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down the solution set is now minus 4 to minus 2 and boundaries are included. So that's why it's a square bracket. Then we have 2 to 6 minus 4 minus 2 union 2 to 6. That means these values will satisfy both the conditions that modulus of x minus 1 less than or equal to 5 and modulus of x greater than or equal to 2. Let us check one condition minus 4 to minus 2. That means let us say minus 3 if I take minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4 absolute value is 4 4 less than or equal to 5 and minus 3 absolute value is 3 3 greater than or equal to 2. So the solution set for this is minus 4 minus 2 with boundaries included union 2 to 6 again boundaries included. So the point what we have to understand is this is the only point we have to understand. This is the first solution of this particular condition. This is the solution for the second condition. Now we need only that interval where it is common to both of them. So here and here what is common is only this, p, this small interval and similarly this interval and this everything common is only this part that is minus 4 to minus 2 and 2 to 6.